declaring the summit open noted that a girl child if well educated grows up to become an asset to a nation he said for nigeria to achieve greatness our women must be empowered and according to him empowerment can only be achieved through qualitative education governor jim Obiu admitted that the society has been unfair to the girl child recalled that humiliation against her started long time ago he observed however that the pattern of humiliation against the girl child in the contemporary world has become systematic. Our country, Nigeria, will therefore do well if it concentrates on the empowerment of girl children as a foundation to creating a better society. Gone are the days when the girl child was relegated to the basement of society. In a welcome address, wife of Oyo State Governor, Mrs. Florence Ajimobi said Oisoa deemed it necessary to concentrate on the girl child rather than women in the third edition of its national summit because most of the future of a woman is usually determined from when she is a girl as she develops her personal ideologies as, at this time. This became necessary because we want women to go out and be the change they want to see in the world. When we speak about the empowerment of the girl child, the greatest way to empower her is through education. The keynote speaker at the occasion, Dr. J. O. K. Udumaki, in a message made a case for girl child's education, adding that structural information is the only thing that can give herself realization and actualization. She insisted that girl child's empowerment remains a critical factor in the advancement of the cause of the female folk. When we talk about the empowerment of a child, and we are onlookers, we are cowards or traitors. The girl child remains extremely critical. Highlight of the event include presentation of an award to the chairperson of Oisoa, Mrs. Florence Ajimobi, and special presentation by Oisoa Choir. <laughs> Ibadan, Anuluak Bomoridi, MITV News.